Hey Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today to share with you my latest layout for the Stash Bash YouTube Hop. This month's theme is washi and I have this Christmas layout to share with you that I created using um, lots of washi as you can see down the left hand side of that layout there. So I began with, I'm not sure how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, different washies and I went with the color theme red, teal, white, black, per se. And I um, literally just opened the washi, pulled it across, and ripped it off. And I wanted the edges on the right-hand side of the washi to be different lengths of torn off. I didn't want it straight, so I didn't cut it with my scissors. Um, but you will see that I do tear the beginning of the tape because some of these are new rolls of washi. And so I just wanted to create that torn look and just rotate it all up. Uh, pulled it all the way across and I left the tails of the washi that I had used um, unfolded down is going to be my technical term for that because I knew that I was going to have to use these um, over again. So I was looking for different lengths of washi in different colors of washi and um, I didn't want them all to be the same distance apart and that particular piece there with the um, the peppermints I particularly sought out and it doesn't look quite right when you look at it on the video there um, but when you look at the layout and the full layout it does look much better but I always like to have either a piece of pattern paper or um, a, a piece of ephemera something that has all of the colors that I'm using as my color scheme to sort of tie everything together and that's why um, that piece of that particular washi tape was attractive to me. I liked the black because it gave your eye a rest from all of those colors and sort of tied everything in together. So you can see where I go back and use some of these washies over again. And I did try when I was pulling the washies to find washies of various thicknesses as well. I could have cut them uh, to create various thicknesses, but it was easier. Um, this was so easy to just pull the washi down across the page, rip it, and keep on going. And I wanted it to stay simple that way. So just randomly choosing lengths. Um, I really truly had no plan to this and that's a very heavy black in there um, and I, I still continue to use it but I know that I'm going to put something over it which will minimize the heaviness and the weight of that black down there. I do like how it grounds out the page though and I wanted a little bit more. Um, I decided some overlapping pieces of washi would be fun so I just trimmed that down uh, with my scissors. Actually I use my X-Acto blade and stick that on top uh, overlapping near the top third of the layout there. So we are finished with the washi and that is my fun washi background that I just put on a piece of Amy Tangerine. Um, it's I have a 20 pack of this that I got from uh, Tuesday morning and so I frequently use that as backgrounds. It does make a great background. So the tails of the washi I just tucked in behind on the back side of the layout. Uh, they're flat and they won't become a problem when I slide this page into the page protectors. Then I trimmed off the um, selvage or the manufacturer strip, whatever branding strip, and set about creating my layout. I had this paper pad from Pink Fresh Studios and the um, some of the ephemera that goes with it, and that was what I had wanted to use and where I chose my colors from. So I had these two pictures of us decorating this past Christmas and putting the tree up, and so I wanted to back these with some pattern paper and I chose these three pieces. I originally thought with that six by six piece there that I would use it sort of as a scene um, because we were dec decorating the tree but us standing on top of the trees instead of amongst the trees looked kind of funky so I abandoned that piece and went with these two. The uh, blue sort of, um, they're, they're very faint uh, floral elements I'm gonna say uh, so I just trimmed that uh, and used that as the border of this particular photo and then ripped the edge on the left hand side 
of the photo and then on the other one I'm going to back it in that red the wrapping paper gift red and oh not yet oh I had another piece already so uh, and that was torn at the bottom and I just like the way that the ripped edges add a, a different look to the pictures and then use my exacto blade to cut that out so that that picture has that uh, fine red border to it. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to grab a glassine bag, a black and white zigzag glassine bag, and it had had something in it. I think um, Spiegel Mom Scrap sent me something, and I decided to use that as a backing, but it's too long for the picture, so you can see I just folded it up there to... Um, make it shorter and I like the lighter background it stands out against that bag and so that's the one that I choose to 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 use and I couldn't I don't like to put my pictures side by side I usually like one slightly higher than the other and I wasn't sure you'll see um, what I liked the one on the outside oops I put the wrong picture on there I think I put the one with the red backing um, and I'll switch that out in a minute because it you see how it, with the red background it loses the definition of the bag and the clarity um, so pull that up and I actually do end up taking part of the bag with me but because it's covered with a picture it doesn't really matter so there's that picture and you can see how you can see the bag much clearer there. So I have it down, up, down, up, and I can't decide, and I decide to go with up. The reason that I struggled with putting it slightly higher is because then it is above the opening of the glassine bag, but it didn't really matter. Oops, I pull it up again. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to move it down, and then I ended up sticking it right back where I pulled it off. So those are the, that is the basics of the layout. And then I go in and just do some decorating with different embellishments from Pink Fresh Studios from the Ojoy collection. I have these um, clear acetates here. I thought those presents would be really fun, but unfortunately there's a lot of green in that, and I didn't use any green elsewhere other than the, in the tree and wanted to leave that. So <laughs> pardon me. I thought I was going to use that element there. Um, it, and have the layout kind of come out like a triangle but it, it didn't really work for me and so I found this good cheer which I thought was much better and it was also in a more readable format on the color scheme that I was working with and I uh, just flip it over check the back and see if there's anything that I'm missing and I did find as I was putting things away the blue celebration and thought that or celebrate I'm sorry that that might be a fun element to have in there and I haven't committed I'm gonna have one or the other here it just a lot of it is going to depend on the other things that I decide to use so I have these stickers that I want to use and what really attracted me to them are these word stickers down here which I thought would be fun scattered in amongst the washi tape just to add a little bit more visual interest to that there and break up some of the linearness so I found for the top deck the halls because we were decorating the house that day and then string lights also something appropriate for the theme of the day and then at the bottom oh Christmas tree because we were decorating the Christmas tree and unfortunately my video is going to cut off um, I'm not sure I've been having problems with storage space on my iPhone and so what you miss here is you can see those uh, chipboard stickers from Pink Fresh Studio I use the asterisks that are gold foiled um, w with those word stickers there and then I um, did a couple of other things I splatted a little bit of shimmers um, just to add some color to the right hand side of the page I had some word washi from Ellie's studio that says traditions documented and I put a couple of enamel dots beside that and um, some puffy stickers as well as uh, the 2016 glitter thickers for the title. So here are some close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. We always love having you every month, and I hope you enjoyed the new gals who came and joined us. In the comments down below is where you're hopping to next and or where else you can be if you haven't come here um, by accident. I would love for you to subscribe if you don't subscribe so you can join us for more monthly videos. Thanks. Take care.